Aquarius, welcome to your gentle love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. We are much improved since last week. I hope you can tell. Thank you so much. All right, what's going on for Aquarius, please? If you're new to my channel, welcome. You know, I'm a little different and happy to be so. You like my style, you like my vibe, let me know. Like, share, maybe subscribe. I appreciate you. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. What's going on, please? What's going on? Do keep in mind, collective readings mean collective application. Portions will resonate. Some, not at all. Okay, in which case, check your other placements, or I'll have to catch you on the next one. All right, there you go. That's how they work. Take what resonates, leave it does not, and reverse energies as it applies. That's it. Got to refresh people on that from time to time. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aquarius. What's going on, please, for Aquarius? What's up? Show me Aquarius. Show me the star, baby. What's going on with the star? 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 Show me. Show me. Show me the water bearer. What's going on with the water bearer? Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Material and spiritual prosperity. <laughs> We're trying to increase gains. We want gains in our material world. Okay, could be money, could be home, finances, resources in the general sense. I don't know. But we want to expand. Okay, we want to increase. We want to increase our wealth, our assets, our resources. We want to be in the positive, yeah? We want profit. We want room to spare, growth. What else, please? And the base chakra. It feels like it's a deep need in you to do this. It is. There's a very deep need within you to expand that empire, to expand the coin, to expand yourselves. Business, work, coin. It's it's at your base level. It's like an instinctual level to do this to increase your wealth. Okay. Now it could just also be the physical realm. It could be to increase your energy. You have to remember, it's not the material world includes your physical energy as well. So. Some of you are trying to increase your presence, okay? Some of you are trying to increase your energy, your physical well-being. It's, it's almost instinctual, okay, to bring more, to gather in, to have abundance in something in some area of your life. What else, please? What else, please? It's destiny. We're talking next level destiny stuff, baby. Let's take it further. Mm. We want to find our destiny, what to do with ourselves. Love, life, career, you name it. Let's find out. What's our next level destiny? Aquarius, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? What's up? Show me Aquarius, please. What's going on? Show me that recent past, please, for Aquarius. That was funny. Show me that recent past, please, for Aquarius. How recent that is is up to you. Show me Aquarius, please. Recent past. Blockage. King of Wands. Let me know if you're dealing with Leo. Show me that recent past, please. If you're new to my channel, I prefer it when I fully flip or hit the table. Those are my rules. Show me that recent past, please, for Aquarius. What is up with this? Queen of Wands. Okay, it's meant to be. Regardless, sex relevant tarot doesn't matter. It's the spirit of the thing. Bold, fiery, passionate, direction-oriented, ambition, all that. Currently, what's going on could be a person that is surrounding you. Could be that you have a great deal of fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sag. What's current? What's current? What's current? What's current? What's current? Queen of Swords, two queens here. Mmm started up all fired up for something and then we cooled off but but not the level of responsibility that's still the same we still have queens here could be you and could be them i'm seeing it's too early in the game to tell we had to keep going could be i'm seeing a decrease from passion to ration rationality analytical skills Really excited for something, really turned on by it. But now we're in a more reasonable place, possibly. Show me Aquarius's individual energy, please. Show me Aquarius's energy as an individual. What's going on? Dude, fragmentation as soon as I asked that. Okay. Show me Aquarius's individual. 
energy, please. What's going on with Aquarius as an individual? What's going on with Aquarius as an individual? The tower. Something's hitting you. The truth, the strong one, possibly. It could be internal, it could be external. An internal realization, that's quite the epiphany. Like the light bulb going off. Okay? And it could be external surprise. You didn't see this coming. You are either in this thing's pathway or was meant to come to you. Okay? It's meant to be life-changing. There's a tower here that needs to come down. Okay? Uh, and it's within you or surrounding you or basically you're the star of that particular tower show. <laughs> Okay, you're on the receiving end of it. All right, anyone surrounding, please? Is there anyone surrounding Aquarius at this time? I believe there is, but let's take a look. Is there anyone surrounding Aquarius at this time? FYI, I read the baseline in the upright only. That is also me as a tarot reader. Clarifier, sure. I'll read them in the downright, no problem. Baseline, uh-uh. That's my rule. All right, four of pentacles. The person surrounding you seems to be conservative with their energy at this time or their coin withholding. Okay, we'll see why. We'll see what's going on. What is going on here? This is quite interesting. Show me the future, please, of Aquarius and this person. Show me the future, please, of Aquarius and this person. What is the future here? We want to increase more. I need more. Somebody's feeling that on an instinctual level to go to next level destiny stuff. I want more, I want more, I want more. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, okay. The hair font, let me know if you're dealing with Taurus. You might have Taurus in your chart. Who else? Scorps. What's in front of the hair font? Three of Wands. Okay. What's in front of the Three of Wands? Ace of Cups. There is an anticipation of next level spiritual love here. Okay, Ace of Pentacles underline that point. Again, I do not read the baseline in the downright. That's my rule. Um, I really hate it when people argue with me about that. When you read tarot as long as I have, you will have your own method as well. Okay, advice please. How would you advise Aquarius? How would you advise Aquarius please? Be yourself, that's you. Always be yourself. And also, what can you see for yourself in the long-term vision of your own eyes? What can you see 5, 10, 15 years from now? Your vision. Okay? Reaching for the stars takes a lot of work to get there. So, what can you see for yourself in terms of your star vision? X many years from now, what is your destiny? Be yourself. There is the potential here. Of new love. Spiritual. Signed off on. In the spiritual realm as well as in the love realm. It is new. It's almost anticipatory. Like you can taste it. Overall, please. What's the overall, please? Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's the overall, please? What's the overall, please? I am not interested in the blockage. What's the overall? Thank you. Five of Swords. It feels like sometimes there's no fucking point. Like everything's just one big failure. Like I'm set up for failure sometimes. And that's self-sabotage, honey. Don't give that any more credence than you already have. Okay. It just sometimes it feels like one giant mind fuck. I know. Like you're always at a perpetual loss. Mm. That's not who you are. I know it's tempting to get here, but don't stay there. Okay. And for some of you, the other interpretation is that you are prepared to win at all costs. We shall see. Which can be your spirit, absolutely. <sighs> Drawing a line in the sand, and I dare you to cross it. Um, I don't care if that as being your overall. It does feel like, given your top line, the severity of it, the distinctness of it between this and your future, it could seem like where you're in a current state of everything feels self-defeating and like everything I try will fail. I know. Especially if you learn something the hard way. Okay. Um, your future indicates otherwise. 
So if you want to know what is your next level destiny and will really put you on the map, or in the stars I should say, what can solidify you and your legacy, what's the next step? We're going to see. I can. There's a hint of it here. And I hope you go for it, because everything is a choice. For some of you, yeah. Three cups, sure. What's going on here? This top line's terribly interesting. I don't really know what I'm going to see, so let's find out. I got two queens here. One fiery, passionate, ambitious, headstrong. The other one, rational, cold, kind of calculating, but intelligent. Somebody can be very warm, very fiery, the other person very cool, analytical. What's going on here? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aquarius. What is going on for Aquarius, please? Show me. Show me what I need to see, please, for Aquarius. What's going on? Recent past, this Queen of Wands. Page of Wands. <laughs> All right, some curiosity here. I see. Okay. Death to the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, well, well now. The person who in your life might be a little bit of a hothead. Okay. Um, the person whom you may be tied to on a very strong level. Ten of Pentacles is underlying. They refuse to work with you or compromise with you. Sometimes they have a little temper flare. Page of Wands can be like that. Unfortunately, it's coming from the Queen of Wands, so she kind of feels justified. <clears throat> little temper tantrums, little arguments, things like that. But uh, it feels like they are refusing to work with you or compromise with you in the recent past. Again, how recent that is is entirely up to you. This could be ten years ago, it could be yesterday. Um, they refuse to work with you. They stopped working with you. It's compromising energy, Eight of Pentacles. I don't know that they literally left the workplace because you were there or anything like that specific. It's more like in the vague sense of uh, they refuse to work with you. And in fact, Page of Wands is meant to be positive curiosity and a certain level of ambition. But in this context, it's looking like a little bit of a anger streak. <laughs> A little bit of a temper flare from this person. Let's see what's going on. Your reaction is Queen of Swords, which is you. Sex is irrelevant in tarot. Switch out those sexual energies as you see fit. Show me that Queen of Swords, please. 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 It could be your reaction. Show me that Queen of Swords. Give it time, you said, and they'll get over it. Ha! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Jesus. Give it time, and they'll get over it. Well, that's very you. <laughs> Give them time, and they'll get over it. Temperance. Time will pass. Time will pass. A time has passed, or time has passed. What about it? What about the timing aspect? Oh, let me, we also have two strong energies here, Sag and Scorpio. Uh, what about it? Let's see what happened. Did they get over it? I don't know. Show me, please. <laughs> Show me, please. What is this? Did they heal? Did they get over it? Are you over it, Aquarius? Are you over their little temper tantrums? Oh, it has yet to be revealed. Hmm. Whether or not this person has done true healing, it, uh, it's under the moon energy. I don't... I think you doubt it. I do. I think it's like, oh, in time they'll get over it. I think you understand to some level though that they haven't. Not really. Not really. Um, hmm. Sometimes there's a perpetual argument or thought loop. But at this point you still, you have some sense of optimism for this connection, whatever it is, but um, this is so obscure, by the way. This this cannot apply to many of you, but for some of you, 
I'm sorry. Somebody here, this is such a literal translation. Please, it's going to apply to so few of you. All right, but you let me know as you see fit. Somebody here might literally be keeping a secret from a Sag about a Scorpio or keeping a secret. There's Pisces, Scorpio, and Sag now. For somebody, it feels like there is a secret here regarding either literally a Sag or Scorpio or Pisces. Um regarding a connection. Somebody keeps a, a connection secret, okay, from someone else. And it's done so with forethought, that Queen of Swords energy. It's so minute. It is such a minute interpretation. I can't say it's not a possibility, though. Somebody here might be actively keeping a secret from somebody else regarding someone else's energy. Um, okay. But for the most part, this connection where this person's refusing to work with you, they're not compromising very well, and sometimes they have these little temper flares, things like that. Um, the idea is that they'll get over it in time, but you kind of doubt it with the moon energy, though. They don't seem to be improving. I think you're trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, but it's not... It may not be happening. Okay. All right. Well, show me the tower, please. Your energy. The tower. Show me the tower. What is Aquarius experiencing here? Show me the tower, please. Okay, Six of Cups. What about it? What about the Six of Cups in the tower? King of Cups, holy hell. Heavy Scorpio energy right here. Lovers underlying that point. Whoa! Did you get a blast from the past, baby? Did you just get a blast from the past? Ooh! Ooh! You got a big old blast from the past, didn't you? Oh boy, what happened? Oh boy, Aquarius, what happened? Okay, okay, that's heavy Scorpio energy, Jesus. So it might well have been a Scorpio that refused to work with you in the past, or they like we stopped being friends, or I can't see you, or something like that. You thought they'd get over in time, maybe they never did, or you never knew with that moon energy. Boom. Tower. King of Cups. Six of Cups. I'm back. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm back. Oh, boy. Oh, they're evoking so much emotion in you. So much emotion in you. Wow. Wow, they're evoking so much emotion. And uh, the, 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 the remembrance of the connection is almost instantaneous. It just hits you. Tower, boom, boom, boom. You know, the, here are all these cups. They're just, wow, 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 wow. Okay. 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 They're, they're evoking so much. There's a nostalgia tied to this, man. Oh my god. Aquarius, honey, you always take me for a ride. Oh my god. Show me the four person. Uh, four person. Four pentacles. The person surrounding you. Who is this? Then the four pentacles. Who is this? Who's been conservative with their energy? Two of pentacles. Why? Why? Queen of Cups again. Heavy, heavy, heavy water energy. Ace of Wands as well. Oh boy. Okay. They are being conservative with their energy. Um, they reintroduced themselves to you in your life at some point and it brought all the feelings back right away. It, it just, it has such a strong, it has such a strong evoking quality in you. It, it just hits you so hard, man. Oh, God, talk about a blast from the past. So how far back this goes, I don't know. You do. <sighs> it might be that you're just like, you'll get over it in time, but did you really? The moon might be over you as healing. Not that they would get over it, but perhaps it was you. It's like, I'll get over it in time. This person who refused to work with me or couldn't compromise. Um, I'll get over it in time. Perhaps you never did with that moon energy now. Heavy water energy. They're still conservative, four of pentacles with their particular energy, but they're still representing cup, 
king and queen of cup king and queen of cup moon scorpio it's like water water death pisces moon oh my goodness honey so again you just let me know if you connect into water okay <laughs> they're still being conservative with their energy they have an ace of wands with you they they see that way it's likely the renewal of hope as opposed to seeing you as a new pathway uh-uh um so while they would like to give you the emotionality and the ace of wands they're still being reserved with their energy they're not giving you full blast of it let's put it that way they're not giving the full blast um I, this is hitting you so hard because there's so much nostalgia attached to this person the six of cups shared cups shared memory shared feelings um it uh, it really kind of just blasts open your heart space and i just don't think you were expecting that Maybe you thought you had healed from it, and it turns out you really hadn't, you know? It's not an accusation, honey. It is what it is. I say you because it's the default in your reading. Even Aquarius has feelings, too. Okay. But reverse energies as it applies, always. Um, it could be that... Uh, you stop trying to compromise with somebody else's energy and then you reintroduced yourself into their life and it blew them apart like what the fuck turns out I still have all these feelings for Aquarius what I thought I was over Aquarius what <laughs> you know what I mean something like that yeah the feeling is still here but they struggle with it to a pentacle so they they're not giving you the full extent of their wand energy or their cup energy all right Okay, but you both know it's there. Put it that way. You both know it's there. Okay, show me this future. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please. Destiny. It's like you feel it at your core level. Your base level. Is this my destiny? Is this your destiny? Show me Aquarius, please. Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. What's going on? Show me Aquarius, please. What's this hair font here? Again, let me know. You could be connecting to Taurus or you have Taurus in your chart. Fuck me, the hanged man. Oh, is this my next level destiny? Uh, again, Piscean energy. Oh my god. Is this my next level destiny? I don't know. Is it going to take me to my higher spiritual self? I need time to think about this. I need time to think about this Two of Cups. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I bet. Okay, because it's here. It feels like it's an offer on the table. It does feel like there's an offer on the table here. Um, you know, spiritually speaking, is this person my destiny? My Two of Cups. Show me the Three of Wands, please. Show me that Three of Wands, please. Show me that Three of Wands, please. It feels like we've been waiting for a long time. Fantasizing. Seven of Cups, again, in this context, it's not just options and love, it's also fantasizing. We've been fantasizing, waiting for the day, for what? The King of Cups, again, so it's at this point, I get a lot of shit when I see repeating signs, especially when it's Scorpio energy. Let me guess, you're talking to your Aquarius. I will get that shit for all 12 signs, honey. I can't be seeing all 12 signs. No. <laughs> No, I am not in this, all right? <laughs> King of Cups to the Two of Swords. I get that shit all the time. Oh, let me guess. You're connected to Aaliyah. That's why you keep saying Scorpio. No, honey, that's because it's what I'm reading. You, I'm looking at an Aquarius who is dealing with either A, a highly emotional creature, regardless of their sign, or you dealing with water, particularly Scorpio and Pisces. Those are the two dominants I've seen so far. Maybe Cancer. Okay. <laughs> okay. King of Cups here again. All right. We're, it, it just, there's still some confusion about our heart space, but the fact of the matter is there's so much longing. Again, that Taurian energy underlying. There's been so much longing in our heart space, looking forward to this, fantasizing about it, thinking about it. Unwinding. I just heard unwinding, I don't know why. Unwinding with this person, relaxing with this person, 
getting more comfortable around this person. Uh, but fantasizing about the day of reconnecting. Um, that kiss element is coming in very hard for this. Very hard. There's a kiss element here. It's very strong. Waiting for that. Waiting for the day. Waiting for we could kiss. Something like that. Show me this uh, Ace of Cups, please. But we're still keeping ourselves distant until, uh, in this until we can understand if this person was meant to be in our life. There should be an edit right around here. <laughs> my phone went off, but I don't know if my microphone picked it up, so I apologize. Uh, Ace of Cups. So, is this person my next level destiny? Because it brings to mind something I say all the time. And it, it, I keep hearing that if they're meant to be, they'll come back around. And this thing is, this person came back around. So are they my next level destiny or not? Are they meant to be in my life? You know, do they serve my higher purpose? Do they serve my greater good? Is this where I'm meant to be? Because they came back around spectacularly by the looks of it. <laughs> I must say. And it provoked in you such strong feelings, and it, it hits you so hard. The tower, it hits you so fucking hard. And in your deepest self, to the instinctual level, your base, to your core and your bones, it hits you, this person does. Wow. Show me this Ace of Cups, please. Um, let's see, Gibbo. I gotta do a time check, so this could very well be you. At first I thought you doubted that they had healed, but now I'm starting to think maybe you never really recovered from this. Alright, what's going on? That's the advantage of being in the King and Queen of Swords. You can hide shit like that really well. Show me this Ace of Cups, please. Show me the Ace of Cups. Show me the Ace of Cups. Oh, dear. Strength. Yeah, it, it's going to take strength to accept this cup. Mm, if you want it, it's going to take strength to accept it. There will be no easy outs on this one. Okay. Um... Yeah, you can't help but question, if they came back around, is it meant to be? You don't know, and you have a hard time talking about it. You have a hard time talking about it. You don't really know how to open up. You want to. But you struggle with opening up your deepest thoughts on this one. Yeah, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna take strength to accept that cup. What else? Oh. That's exactly my point right there, okay? The Knight of Cups opening up. We're struggling. It takes strength to open up and be emotionally vulnerable with this person. You're still struggling with it. You still have doubts about the connection and the block. Why? And if we were meant to be, how come we didn't get it right the first time around? Why do we have to break away and come back? You know, well, yeah, why? Why indeed? I know. Struggling with that emotional vulnerability. Take strength to accept love. A lot of people don't know that. In situations like this would absolutely have to be. So again, I'm seeing an Aquarius in the future. The good news is that you're being an active participant and understanding for yourself if this person is meant to be on your life in that way and on that level. Your advice is to be yourself the star. What can you see or know to be true for yourself how many years out from now? Um, especially if it's like there's a this doesn't feel like a quick turnaround like we broke up and then we got back together like three days later it doesn't feel like that there's, it feels like there's a longer it feels like there's a longer lifespan than that it kind of feels like a boomerang Show me the star, please. It went far out and came back to you. Show me the star, please. And that's why it keeps messing with you. If it was meant to be, it'll come back around. Ooh, let me know if you got some Capricorn in your chart. The devil. Why? Why? Why the devil? Why the devil? Why the devil? Over it. Okay. Seven of Wands. Okay. Well, yes, correct. We don't... We, obviously, you want to block any unnatural or unhealthy connections. That's true. But, um... We want to block any bad habits. True. Being guarded. 
We don't want to be wrong. Right? We also don't want to be plagued with doing the wrong thing. Choosing the wrong vision. Because that's going to fuck with us, right? We choose the wrong pathway and it will fuck with us God knows how long. For the rest of our lives. What the star is. Again, what you can see long term out. So if we choose the wrong pathway, we're going to regret it. Or it's going to haunt us like the devil energy, indefinitely, it feels like. And we don't want that to happen. You pick the wrong pathway and it's going to feel like it's going to haunt you forever. And we don't want that. We want to choose the right one. The right pathway. The Ace of Pentacles, very strong offer here. Communicating it, Eight of Wands. So that would explain your Five of Swords as your overall. What am I getting into? I'm so confused. Is this is this just gonna fail? Like what? I know. It makes sense to me. Show me that five of swords, please. Show me that five of swords, please. Show me that five of swords. But it's like it's in you, isn't it? It's like your overall the ten of wands. Why the burden, honey? It's a burden. Absolutely it is. You know? I gotta don't let me forget that. Don't let me forget that. It's so instinctual though to you. You want more, honey. You want more. You want more. Ten of Cups. Will you be joyous or will you be damned? Yeah. For some of you, October is a really strong reference, by the way. Jesus. So, in case, let me just repeat that for you. For some of you, October will be very critical. Okay? Let's just point that out right now. Okay? For some of you, you know, this is a relationship that has begun ended, begun, ended, okay, you might have cycled over with, the, like I said, I felt like if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you, and so it has, you might have done this more than once with this person, um, I don't understand why their energy wouldn't compromise, or they felt that they no longer could, uh, but they felt that it was the, the clear and correct thing to do, with that kind of fire energy commanding to, um, but you might have done this more than one time with this person. So no wonder this idea is fucking with you with that Five of Swords energy. Is this person meant to be in my life or what? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can see that. That would be confusing. But it almost feels instinctual to you. To, there's an instinct in you to grow this, to develop this, to get more out of it. And if it's my destiny, then maybe it's time I should embrace it. And, and uh, something like that. I don't know how many endings you went through to get through to this person or to reconnect with them. I don't know. But those are a lot of markers. For some of you, 10 years. Some of you, 20. Others of you, 30. Others of you, relationships have begun and ended in the time frame of having known this person. I'm seeing an Aquarius who is, you are thinking about multiple exits here. The difficulties you've had, the pros and cons of starting a relationship again with this person or exiting one. And that's another thing. That's another thing, right? If this person is meant to be your destiny and in your life, what is it you're going to have to sacrifice in order to get them? That's another possibility. Destiny is also a 10. So, for some of you, an energy that was very, very, very important to you once upon a time might have been one of those things where you guys were like water molecules, you came together and broke away, you came together and broke away. You know, I'm looking at Aquarius who's had a couple relationships in between that connection. Does that make sense to you? there is a good chance you might have to make a sacrifice in one area of your life in order to acquire this person. And it, 
a part of you instinctually feels that's correct. And you also want more with them. You want a greater sense of destiny. It's like, well, they came back around, this person who's never left me, the one I've kind of, maybe if I was being honest with myself, never really got over. Look how hard the re-entry hits you. Look how fucking hard that re-entry hits you. They're being reserved. I wasn't sure why. Because if their re-entry is hitting you so hard, why aren't you two immediately just kind of taking off? Do you have a history together? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. How many years? I don't know. That's up to you. And I was wondering why they're being so conservative with their energy then, if what they feel for you is so natural. And it is. That's a very natural feeling right there that they have for you. Extremely natural. But also reserved. So it very well could be juggling in the traditional sense. You might be tied to someone. It could be you two re met again under accidental terms or conditions, and that would explain the strength of your reaction is so strong. It could be that as well. And one or both of you could be in relationships. I promise you it hit them hard too. Their feelings for you are still very natural. They're still very much there, but they bury that shit. So that would explain it then, your overall is very conflicting. That's a lot of ten to be getting on with. Your advice, your advice is to be yourself and follow your pathway. If you are in something that shadows you and shackles you and keeps you from reaching your full destiny and full potential, then that is the one that you lose. And what you will gain is so much more. Um, Again, you're over here being the hair font uh, with the hanged man. I'm backing away from the situation. I'm trying to understand myself spiritually and emotionally and what's for my greater good here. I feel the connection, that easy connection, that two of cups energy between us. That five of I'm sorry, that king of cups is still here. They think about you a great deal. They fantasize about you. Um, and you may not fully understand what it is that they feel for you, especially if they're being reserved with their energy and they feel that they have to. They have to be reserved, especially if somebody here is in a relationship. It could be you. Um, it's so hard for you to open up. I see that. It requires you to be vulnerable all over again, and it requires you to be strong to be vulnerable all over again with an Ace of Cups. What serves you the most in terms of your, your star pathway, honey? Who helps you be you? That's your advice. Okay? Who helps Aquarius be Aquarius? Who is your next level destiny? You feel it on an instinctual level. Literally almost to build a life with that person. The one that provokes your instinct the most. That feels like your destiny person. Okay. There might be the shadow of another that you feel grossly tied to. All right, in which case that might be one of the tens that has to be sacrificed in order for this legacy to begin. Because there's the potential of an ace here three times, and it's under the marker of this person who still has feelings for you. They still have passion for you, but they are reserved with them. There's a juggling aspect here. Sorry about that. I'm glad I switched over to iPhone 12. Uh, for videos. It's great. It's been great. The only problem is it has a 40 minute marker and I call bullshit. Uh, but other than that, it's been great. <laughs> okay, now since all this explosive energy is happening under your placement, it tells me this is happening like now, relatively. Like now. Okay. Um, geez Louise. But it could also, since there is such heavy references to Scorpio, this could be Scorpio season, which is going to be, uh, that is October 22nd to November 22nd. So it could be during that time. And then again, 10, 10, 10, 10, October, October, October. Uh, I also see some August references here. Let's see. When is this? It could be, honey, it could be accidental. Like you ran it, because that's how surprising it is, and it immediately evokes all these strong, I mean, strong, 
and feelings in you. It takes you back. It takes you back to time, places, situations. You can see things. You can smell things. You can hear things that you identify with this person significant and just with this person. I think this person caused you more pain than you ever showed or allowed yourself to show, and it was under your moon energy. You maybe felt you could not express it or show it and that you never truly healed from it. You let me know as you see fit. Um, because I have to admit it's quite the shock and it makes me wonder you being the king or queen of swords in this scenario, if you ever really came to terms with it. Um, the loss of this person's energy. Show me when this person, when when does this happen? When does the re-entry happen? For some of you, it was now Virgo, the time of Virgo. Okay, the hermit. So it was during Virgo season, which is now. Um, we had the re-entry here. Now, like I said, you might have literally ran into this person or you had a chance encounter or maybe you even had a meeting just to, to see this person again. Um, but it just, it doesn't matter really what the circumstances were. I see what the effect is or was. For some of you, it's upcoming in December. Also the season of Pisces. And then also we have uh, the Emperor, the Empress, I'm sorry, which could be March, all right? Or last March, but also fall because it's the time of harvest when the production is at the highest peak. Okay, what else? Any other time markers, please? So yes, like I said, for some of you, this has happened now. We were leery, leery. We balanced up. See, I told you some of it, for some of you it was planned. For some of you it was planned and we were leery. We were a little guarded, but we balanced up and we had some trues. We had some trues drop. I mean, this was very recent. For some of you it was planned with that Six of Pentacles energy, for some of you, and for others of you it was not planned. It was a chance encounter. Uh, for others of you it was absolutely planned to see this person again, to catch up, share some trues, whatever. Okay. All right. All right. When will, uh, shit, when will you know? I mean, again, FYI, October. <laughs> I'm just saying for some of you. Uh, yeah, for some of you, October, October, specifically as we enter the season of Scorpio, but that's for some of you. Okay. Uh, when, whenever you decide to move forward officially, and then also the formal marker of seven, Seven days, seven weeks. Uh, seven. For some of you, six is your answer. Ten. Again, I think I'm out of tens now. I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm out of tens now. <laughs> I'm out of tens now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm out of tens now, Aquarius. <laughs> and that's you. That's you right there. So also during your season as a marker. So the time of Aquarius, that's going to be right after Capricorn. Um, so that is January 20, dates, honey, dates, so many dates. January 22nd to February 22nd, somewhere around there. Yeah, so your season could be in January as well. Okay. Oh my god. I'm sorry this was such a long one. It, it's great though. It's terribly, terribly interesting. Um, you let me know as you see fit. That's a hell of an encounter. So if you've experienced this, you put in the comments. I'd love to know um, what your experience was. That's so explosive. Your reaction is, 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 is brilliant. It's, it, it looks scary, but it's really not. It's more like evoking all that feeling. All that feeling. And the question is, if it's true that if they're meant for me, they'll come back around, well, guess what? They came back around. So are they my destiny or not? And that's what you're going to figure out. Okay, from your Hierophant self, from your Hanged Man self, the answer is largely who helps you achieve you? Who tells you to reach for the stars? Who says, yes, Aquarius, you can? Who says, yes, Aquarius, that's the way it should be? You go. Who cheers you? Who leads you on? I mean, who, who, who gives you the motivation to be yourself and to be in the stars, to be among the stars? Who tells you to reach it? That's the person, right? That's the person that we want. That's the person that we want to choose. We want to push away the devil energy that would change us and binds us and tells us, don't reach, don't you dare reach, Aquarius. It's scary. It's scary to reach. This person wants you to. This person wants you to reach for the stars, for you to be yourself. Somebody else says, don't you dare. It's too scary. That's the one we don't want. Okay. 
um, the, the ideal person supports you and they help you get to your next level destiny. Here's the thing, man, you already fucking feel it on the instinctual level. And it's that same instinct that hits you like bolts of... Re the reason why you two disconnected, I don't know, but it tell I, I have the feeling that the time spacing between you two is far apart. And you might have done it before, more than once. You got a lot of tens tied to your energy here. Anyway, I think you got the point. Aquarius, honey, you put in the comments as you see fit. This was a hell of a story. Okay, let me know if you identify. Yeah? Take care. Be well.